this is part two of my um, recommendations for applying to the talk program. I talk way too much and I need to stop doing that. But anyway, so um, let me think. So I, w I left off with talking about the essay portion. Um, yeah, I pretty much talked about my experience um, with my education and how long it took me and it's taking me and how I'll continue to push on trying to get through it and hello uh -huh. <laughs> and I also wrote about um, teaching in Costa Rica and two weeks of just how that experience was for me and what else did I write about I can't remember. Uh, I also wrote about, there was something else. Mm, I can't remember, but anyway, um, I'll go back to the interview. Um, they asked me if I will have any eating um, necessities, like specific things that, uh, allergies or anything, so I told him I was vegetarian, he was like, are you strict? And I was like, no. And then he was like, good, because it's very difficult, and I was like, oh, it's fine. And it actually is difficult for me, but now that I am cooking, it's a lot easier. So, um, I told him it wouldn't be a problem, and now it is not a problem, because I'm cooking. Um, so be open to cooking if you're a vegetarian. Um, what else? Let's see, expect once you apply to um, not get a response for at least two weeks. Also, after your interview, um, usually um, after two, between, within two weeks of submitting your application, you will receive um, a call or an email from someone from the talk program in your area where you submitted your application to, and they will um, set up an interview and that interview will usually be within a week of them calling you. Also, after the interview is the longest wait time that you'll have through the talk program. Um, usually you won't be notified um, that you're in until like two weeks <laughs> before your flight. Um, some people seriously waited forever and I know some people who there was a flight deadline where you had to be in Korea um, by a certain date in order to be at the orientation. Some people didn't get their flight information till like that day or something like that. That was probably the only, the worst thing that I've heard from the talk program that they like waited so long, but I don't know if that might be because they were, I don't know what was going on. Maybe there was like some sort of mix up or something with the tickets or like delay, I don't know. Um, also, some people get put on the waiting list, so if you don't hear from the talk program for a while, um, you either did not get in or you might be on the waiting list and it's still possible to get in. Um, what else? There were a couple more things. I just wish I could remember what else I wrote in my essay, because I cannot remember right now. Um, Okay, I think that'll be it for right now. I don't know. Um, pretty much for your essay, write about yourself. Be yourself in your essay. Um, just talk about whatever you can that is, um, keeps, helps you to stand out from the crowd regarding cultural, your cultural background. If you're Korean, if you're Korean American and you're applying to the talk program, um, talk about how you want to go to Korea and experience your culture. And um, maybe you have family in Korea and you want to um, experience the culture and uh, allow them to um, help you experience the culture and everything um, with your background. So there's a lot that you can write about in your essay. You can just make it yours pretty much. Um, just talk about whatever you can that shows who you are and your interest in Korea and teaching in Korea. Um, and do the same in the interview. Um, I'm trying to think of other questions that they asked me. 
Also, they might ask you, why would you make a good teacher? Um, also, um, you will have to submit a lesson plan, and I submitted two for some reason. Um, for the lesson plan, you want to incorporate things like reading, writing, listening, and speaking into the lesson because you want to incorporate all of those different things um, and it makes it more, um, it gives it more variety and it, uh, it, um, it adds all of the different skills, the learning skills and um, so yeah, so incorporate all of that. Um, you can Google lesson plan, basic lesson plans. Um, it's very simple. Um, shouldn't take too long. It, I seriously just typed up something really quick from my TESOL when I got my TESOL certificate. Um, I looked up one of the lesson plans that they had as an example, kind of tweaked it and made it my own and then submitted it. So it was really simple for me and it can be simple for you too. Also, I'm trying to think. I seriously, when I applied, I did not think I was going to get in. I was shocked when I got in. So, if you're afraid that you're not going to get in, just apply. I mean, what worse can you do than not get in, you know? It's always worth the risk. And, um, oh, I keep thinking of things and then they go away. Um, also... There are a lot of different things that you need to submit after you have your interview. So first, you submit your application. Then you get a call back to have an interview. After your interview, there are like five million things that you need to submit. And then they, you su submit it to the talk office that you had your interview at. And then they send it to Korea to be um, reviewed. So that's why the wait is so long because it's not that the talk office that you were interviewed at is not sure if you're getting in. It's because they have to review all of your documents that are sent to Korea. They're sent to Korea and they review everything. So that's why the process is so long. So pretty much you have to submit a background check which has to be apostilled, which I think that's the right pronunciation. Um, and you have to submit a... What else do you have to submit? I'm very forgetful. You have to submit two, two um, letters of recommendations. My letters of recommendation were from my current job, which was the job that I recently left um, to come to Korea, and one from my pastor from my church. Um, at the interview, I was told that I could use those two, and that's what I did. Um, what's also recommended, which would be even better, is if you use a recommendation, if you have any um, teaching experience, use um, that as a recommendation letter. So request them to make a letter for you because that looks even better. But the church and my current job worked well for me. So yeah, you can use that. Also, letter recommendation, background check, you have to submit a lesson plan and feel like there's something else but I'll probably make another video for that so if you guys have any questions or comments comment below um, and I will try and make another video soon so because I, I always get questions but I have another video coming up and it's pretty much um, what my week is like my average week um, teaching so yeah I will make a video about that, okay? I will see you guys later, and I hope I answered some of your questions. Bye!